Welcome back, Red of TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, welcome back to church. Welcome to Calvary. Yeah. I'm gonna need missed y'all last week, man. We, man. we need that tithe money, man. You know, yeah. electric bill and stuff is dead. You know how it is when you have that all week revival, you gotta take a break. Yeah. Let the saints rejuvenate. <laughs> so I let y'all rejuvenate um, last week, but we back this week, okay? Yeah. So, if you are not a family member, which means you are not a member of Calvary, you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go yeah. ahead and do that. I know we're going through a few things at the church, but this is a time that you want to be counted. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you can be in the know of what's going to happen to First Lady and Bishop. <laughs> then go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't even matter at this point. You've already been counted. Let's get... <laughs> I got some skit to say. You hear what I said? She changed everything. And that she did. And that she did for sure. I'm going to get on with the little saints first. I'm going to get the little saint and the little ain't out the way first. Right, let's, talk, let's go with the little ain't first. All right, now. Zorda Weed Explorer. <laughs> okay, I'm really concerned about Zorda Weed Explorer because now Zorda <laughs> resulted to going to Meryl Saul's purse to get her telephone because she's still trying to mess around with Isaiah, the church player. Meryl Saul went back and told Lady May. Lady May and Zora got into it, y'all. Yeah. This is the first time that I actually see Nuck if you buck Lady I, May when it came to the grandbabies. I ain't ever think that Zora buck up to her like that. Me evil. She, me either. She, 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 she uh, like my um seventh grade teacher would tell me she's skating on thin ice. She, she <laughs> nice, but... <laughs> and she told her grandma, she said, I hate it here. And she said, no, 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 honey. You hate your God doing self. Yep. Anybody that sits around and try to get in touch with somebody that abused him and treated him wrong, there's a, there's a self-hatred going on there within your exactly. heart. Exactly. So this is what Zora the Weed Explorer did. Because she manipulative too. Just like her daddy. <laughs> she decided to call her mama because her mama did say, whenever you want to come home, you go ahead and let me know and you can come home. Mm -hmm. So she called Clarissa. And Clarissa was like, you know what? I think staying here would be the best thing for you. But I know that you're going to be a little upset with me. Are you mad with me, Zora? Zora was like, you know what, Mom? It'll all be over soon. Don't even worry about it. And when she said that, I said... Uh-huh. The manipulation game. Again. Not even manipulation, but I'm like, that's borderline suicide talk to me. Because hmm. you know, we have been there with people, and you got to pick up on some of the words that they say. Yeah. Like when people say, it'll be all over soon. Stuff like that. I pick up on stuff like that and I said, now I hope Zora don't got, ain't got so far out of there that either she planned to run away or she planned on ending it all because she's so in love and can't do nothing without this boy in her life. Yeah. Anybody I else? Think about it that way. So I, I don't know. Y'all keep your eye on Zora. Put her on the prayer list. Do all that. So over there with this, the little saint, Sophia. <laughs> okay, Sophia. She going through it, y'all. She really going and through she, it. And she, yeah. And I don't know if a lot of it is emotional or a lot of it is actually what's going on with her body, you know, adjusting to the fact that she basically just had a freaking, um, um, a hysterectomy, basically. Yeah, that and, age, yeah. And she basically told him, say, look, I got to take hormones for the rest of my life. So I'm trying to figure out, is there a hormonal balance going on along with the mental thing that she just found out that she's not going to have kids? But she... I Ain't, think it's a little bit of everything, it, man. It probably is. Yeah. She's not feeling nobody right now. No. Roberto came over and she basically told Roberto, listen. <laughs> This ain't gonna work out between us, cause basically we ain't we ain't equally yoked no more. Yeah, I can't have no children. He tried to encourage the poor baby. Yeah, he gave a Bible characters, man. And said, she said, you know, "I'm not barren." He said, "It's the same thing." <laughs> she said, "Your your pitch fat arm and my me not having no kids ain't the same thing." But you got a medicine. Ooh. Look, you know how people try to we try to compare our um, testimonies and stuff like that. Yeah, we try. Like, you, you broke your leg. My leg on back. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> He tried to help people out, man. He tried to help, he, he tried to help out, man. But he don't know what he's dealing with right now. He's still young. Yeah. He he don't know what it's like to deal with women mood swings, man. Watch it now. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. Any man that's on here, they got a woman in their life. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of us ain't built for it, though. You built for it, though, cause you. I'm built for it sometimes. <laughs> Some days I'm built for it, but some days be like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> That's not funny. That is funny. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so Sophie came down to it. 
you know, her mom was trying to talk to her, telling her, you know, when you're going to go back and teach your little saints, they might make you feel better. She said, I don't want to teach no little saint because God ain't good. Mm -hmm. He's not good. Nope. How am I going to tell them that God is good and he can do all things that he ain't do that? Yeah. She said, either he lied or he just don't want to. <laughs> I said, well, that's where that scripture comes in. Um, so that, you know, we got dominion down here. He can. But this is us. This is for us to take care down here. But I ain't gonna get into the Bible on yeah. scriptures right now. But I feel it though. I mean, all of us have been in that situation <laughs> where, you know, stuff happened on for this, but don't happen for that. If, and why yeah. me? Yeah. And you always, when you're in a situation, you always be like, is it gonna come through this time? You know, even like some people say your testimony and you know what he did before will help you understand what he gonna do in the future. But sometimes not that's not the case because it's a different story in him paying your fifty dollar electric bill and your husband or your wife is on a deathbed and believing for that. Uh, that's a whole different level level of faith right there. Hmm. Yeah. Or no. Yeah. I agree. So <laughs> this was the part that tripped me out. So she's like, okay, so when you going back to church? Uh -huh. She said. <laughs> Ain't never going back. Never going back. And she said, matter of fact, mama, why we on the line? Let me read you real quick. It took you 20 years. Yeah, you were gone for 20 years. And look at Darius. Uh -huh. Y'all together, he don't even go. <laughs> so I think that I'm excused from not going to church now, LL. But you know what really sealed the deal for me? <laughs> when she took her necklace off and threw it in the water, man. Hello? That sealed the deal because you know that was pressure to her. That, you know, yeah, she loved you know, that necklace. She preached in there. She taught in there. She got baptized. Yeah, she walked around with the Lord with it on. <laughs> and now she took it and threw it in the water. God, don't. God, she no. is pissed off, man. Man, but have, raise your hand. Have you ever been that pissed off with God? <laughs> God darn. The super saints didn't raise their hand though. No, nah, because they judging us right now. Uh, I'm be like, y'all ain't got no faith. Ain't got no faith. Matter of fact, y'all y'all ain't even saved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more saved than you is. Trust me. Let me stop. I can't judge you and you can't judge me. Yes, I can. But anyhow, uh -huh. so the next thing we know, we're not going scene by scene. We're going to talk about people. That got doing Maxine Patterson. Man, she came up in there, man. You would have thought, you would have thought she was Jesus in a dress. She thought she was Sarita Jakes. You hear what I said? Man. Saying? She came in there on her, if only you knew. Man, <laughs> them people were flocking around here, wanting an autograph, were taking pictures. But why, here's the thing. Why we do that to preachers, though, man? But here's the thing, Stanley. They didn't ask her for skit. She introduced them to this. She talked about Oh, yeah, that's why she did. Yeah. They were just looking at her. You know what? I'm going to talk to my friend right here, and later on, I'll take autographs and tape it. Ain't nobody ask you skit. But you know the bad part about it? But we do that. We'll lick, you know, lick preachers, men and women of God, up and down. They do. But don't let them do nothing now. Yeah. That same tongue that you licked them with, you crucify them with. Exactly. Yep. Y'all scandalous, man. Yeah, man. So, church folk, man. <laughs> yeah, church folk can be real scandalous, man. So, I was sitting over there looking at Maxine Patterson. And I said, you know what? Her very presence is the equivalent of the same presence that Coochie Cross gives off. Hmm. When they both come in the room, you know some skit is about, about to, to go down. down. Yeah, yeah. So she walks around up in the church. Now Bishop, he having his meeting with Coochie Cross because he trying to get this, <laughs> trying to get the Bitcoin and all this stuff yeah, going on. Yeah, trying to get that crypt cryptocurrency yes. going, man. And he trying to get rich. He feel real good about himself. And he runs into Maxine Patterson. And even Coochie Cross was like, I got my eye on that too because why did they look like they knew each other? But, um, Coochie Cross was like, Maxine Patterson? Well, what's she doing here? Bishop said, only the devil knows. <laughs> and I said, mm-hmm, because she's the equivalent of that witch that you got sitting right beside you. Exactly. And the one you married to. So, they the made is talking to her about the fact that Charity is still on one. She went from taking the prescription pills to she done went down to the pharmacy. Because you know sometimes when you just pop like an Advil or something like that, they make you feel better than popping a hydrocodone. Yeah. But if you pop 10 of those and one hydrocodone, you know it's about the same thing, right? Exactly. So, Charity is taking some sleeping pills from over the counter. And she's so gnawed out that she don't even hear her baby, baby cry. Oh, like, man, like, what? Marisol said, I heard the baby crying and I was doing the laundry. With the, the dryer was on and I could hear the baby. So, 
first lady know that there's an issue. There's a problem that we got to address going on with Charity. Charity ain't, in, they ain't getting out of bed. They don't told the man to go around and cut the electricity off in the suite. God, don't. It's a lot going on. I ain't so, never heard nobody doing that, though. We ain't never had a house big enough that we could cut lights off with certain sections of the house. I mean, <laughs> I mean, does that, they're supposed to get people to live with there? You cut the lights off? Rich people, you know they can't deal with no heat, no cold. <laughs> I mean, I can't deal with no cold or no light, but it don't mean it'll get me to... Matter of fact, that might make her take even more pills. She'll be like, why well, I'm burning up up yeah. in the face? Where my pills at? And when she told her, I'm gonna throw them pills away. She but, said, you <laughs> So she'll add it that quick. I said, Charity, really? This what we doing, honey? So, first I told um, Maxine Patterson, she said, listen, we're gonna get some dates solidified, but in the meantime, my daughter on some skip. Maxine Patterson said, listen, Sometimes you need to give God a little help. Basically, don't be so super spiritual that you can't ask for no earthly help. Yeah. So she said, I got this lady. She's a soul healer. She, I'm going to send her through, and she's going to fix Charity's life, literally. <laughs> now, the first thing that piqued my I said, first thing they said, but is she discreet, though? You so worried about somebody finding out there's something wrong with your daughter that you will risk her not getting help exactly. because you afraid somebody will know. Yep. Well, guess who came over there? That got no Ayala with that dang yeah. old jacked up walk that she do. I don't, care. Life. I don't care what y'all say about Ayala. I love me some Ayala. Yeah. Because Ayala can get people to open up about some skit that they don't want to open up about. Yeah. And it ain't her um job to fix your life. She said, you do the work. Yeah, you do the work. I'll show you the work that needs to be done, but you got to do you it. You got to do it. But Just she, yeah, you right. She man, she be pointing out some stuff. I'll be like, well, darn, she, man. Do I need a healer? Yeah. God, don't make you evaluate some stuff. So people say what they want to say about God doing it. If she ain't nobody, why everybody talking about her? Moving on, exactly. <laughs> like other girls say, moving on. Cause they got doing, cause they got doing. Charity didn't want to talk to her. She tried to send her off, and she said, "Baby, like she tell you, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not for, for your, your healing." <laughs> and she sit back, cross her leg, <laughs> and then she do the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So eventually, Charity opened up, and she was like, "No one cares about me." She said, "Baby, your mama sent me here. She does care about you." She said, "No, no, no. She cares about." me embarrassing his family mm -hmm. that's what she cares about and basically you know they went down the line of you know she knew about kevin and she was like so honey you, you didn't know there was no signs nothing they won't know no mishaps in the bedroom no nothing and she said honey wait what did she ask him say were you in love or oh she said kevin made her feel safe yeah and she was like did she did he make you feel safe or did he make you feel wanted wanted yeah. And that's when she kind of had a breaking point was like, huh, because one of her things was, I feel unsafe. Mm -hmm. I've always felt unsafe. And I was like, okay, Charity, come on through with the, with the realness. So eventually they got to a point where Ayala was like, look, we're going to have to have a family meeting about all this stuff that you're talking about here and there. Okay, now that happened. <clears throat> and I said, this ain't going to end well. This ain't going to end well nah. at all. So... They sat down there and Charity started speaking her truth hmm. about how she felt about different things, this, that, and the third, how she didn't feel safe, protected, none of that good stuff. And basically how I never spoke my truth because y'all, they won't hear. That's right. Why did First Lady turn the pages all the way uh -huh. on the Charity So you ain't going to blame this on me. Did what? Basically told her, said, I didn't blame my mama when stuff was happening to me. Y'all need to get a backbone. Y'all need to boss like, up. Where was that coming from? She said that it's her, not you. <laughs> Ayala was like, baby, she's not blaming you. Yeah. She's telling you how she feels. feels. First lady was on one and she won't have it at all. Now, well, about she was just mad because uh, the bishop put her out the church. I'm going to get to that. Lord, I'm going to get to that. But uh, ain't it funny though? Oh. See, this is why I always tell people, and this is why my mouth gets me in trouble a lot when I'm talking to real people. Don't depend on somebody else to give you the release to get your own healing. Because it would never happen. Because they're not going to do it. Nah, it ain't going to happen. Because they have a problem living in their own truths right. and owning up to the to the, what they've done in it to make you feel the way that you feel. Now, sometimes it could be a fabric. It could be in your, your head. It may not be how you perceived it to be, but God doing it, that's still your hurt. Yep. We we done seen firsthand where people yeah. was about to get healing at church. Yeah. 
and the parents snatch them right out of the church before they start spilling the truth. Yep. Yeah. And then they want to know why their kids out there all wilding messed, out, mm -hmm, messed all up. All messed up. Because, because they can't get real say, because yeah. you won't let them. Yep. Because it's gonna make it's gonna reveal something about that, you, or even something that you didn't protect them from. Yeah. That you don't want to get out. So, moving on. Moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else? Okay, Bishop. Bishop and the first lady. <laughs> okay. They came up with an outline of what they were going to do, what they were going to say. They needed to sit down with the family, tell the kids, listen, me and your mama love each other, but we're getting divorced. Okay, we got that part down, Pat, whatever. <laughs> so, ended up coming down to this. First lady, we're going to get up. We're going to tell the church this, and then your high portion is going to leave. Yep. If you getting out of here, hit the road jacket, don't so you come you, back no so more. So you better give no your more. farewells now because you ain't going <laughs> to get another chance. It's like, what? Special. What? So he got all pissed off because old Maxine Patterson came into town. And so, he knew they up So they know some, some booze skits. So he said, I'm going to put it into all this skit. So then Bishop said, you know what? Because now he don't talk to um, Coochie Cross, and he know that it's a possibility that he can make this cryptocurrency work for his favor. So he told me, he said, listen. You know, I'm going to be real generous in this divorce. And I'm going to let you have the house. And I'm going to take care of the IRS bill. Yeah. On the one condition that I remain bishop of the church. And you got to go. You got to fly <laughs> on, fly on, player. Go. You got to go. I said, is that church or that pulpit that valuable to you that you're going to take on millions of dollars mm -hmm. of debt and pay off a house? To yeah. get rid of the first lady? God this is some mess. God darn. That's some mess. Out of that, what we wouldn't consider to be a big thing. The yeah. cheating part. All that. That's crazy. And I still think they all but, just jump. But this is what I think going to happen with Coochie Cross. Because you got, in order to get cryptocurrency, you got to have U.S. dollars to buy it. Hmm. So I got a feeling what's going to happen is he going to act the church for money to buy the cryptocurrency and she gonna make sure that he gonna buy something that's Is gonna be illegal. Go, that's either illegal or something that's gonna flop in the market and they're gonna lose that money too. <laughs> so he feeling himself and you know first lady said you know what that's cool you know I'll, I'll go ahead and do so. Okay. Oh but she said no I'm gonna have my day a day with Lady May I'm gonna go ahead and have my day and he said you know what but yep after that, you got to go. get you out of here. Go. Okay. So they get up there and they tell the church. Tell the church, you know, listen, we are not perfect people. We are very human. We live in this here flesh. <laughs> and y'all going to, I know we're about to say going to disappoint a whole bunch of y'all. And we're prepared for that. And for that, we apologize <laughs> in advance for you being disappointed that my marriage ain't working. <laughs> and next they said we are going to get a divorce. Somebody in the church said, ah! I said, y'all so got no dramatic in black churches, man. So they told the congregation that they're going to they get a divorce. But I'm still going to be. I'm still going to be your bishop. <laughs> your bishop. And first lady. But you know the bad, we, you know the bad part about it, though? God, darn. That's all the people were really concerned about. Yes. They don't give two flying flips about where the first lady going to go. They just want to know. At the end of all pastor. this, is my pastor going to remain? Yep. That's bad. That's terrible. That's terrible. Because you got to remember, she was the one help pushing him to help you. And for the most part, dealing with all the women. Which yeah. is, what, 90% of the church? Well, some 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 men pastors do, do that. And we see how that works out for them. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. They don't end well. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. I said, oh my God. It's, it's, yeah, it's so, sad though. So she said, you know, um, you have me until my day. You know, I'm gonna be first lady. We still gonna have my day with Lady May, and I'm gonna give you my powerful guest speaker, Miss Maxine Patterson, and she is gonna. Well, I wrote it down. What the hell? Is, what it was about the significance of women in the church. Yeah. And she was like, it, and the conference is going to be entitled, She, she changes, changes Everything. I said, and Bishop looking like, 
He said, that's that bull skit that I'm talking uh -huh. about right there. That's why I want you and Maxine <laughs> and her copper color wig to get up out of here. Go over y'all. Y'all got to go. <laughs> okay. So I said, mm hmm. Bishop back there just gritting, looking like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that skit I don't like back right. back. <laughs> so back over at the house. No, before we get to the house, let's go ahead and talk about the interaction that Coochie Cross and Darius had with each other. Yeah, that yeah, that was um, Cuz I'm was, telling you they, they connected, each other. man. They connected some kind Somebody of Somebody put in our comments what if they are actually the couple? And Darius has been sent by Coochie Cross to get Nick's Gigi. Mm. And she's so conniving that she will let Darius sleep with another woman just to go ahead and get her away. Yeah. You know. But yeah, that's what somebody said. And I said, you know what? Because the first thing Coochie Cross was saying, mm, is that a tailor shirt? Is that a custom shirt? He was like, no, it's right off the rack. Hmm. Most guys wouldn't know how to pick out something like that. Okay. Now we can see that she's a really fine dresser. Where he getting them skills from? Mm-hmm. And she was like, Gigi, did you pick that out for him? Nope. He he picked that out himself. I'm sitting here like Gigi said, hmm, she really does have a thing for you, don't uh -huh. you? Because they supposed to be talking about this case of how to get this guilty lady off that, yeah. that hit her. And that she on, her she on Darius the whole time. But she up on Darius the whole time. I said something's up. I told you. That, that between, I can't wait between to come them up. and them skanks. Man, I ain't see I ain't see y'all more Keisha Cole. Now Keisha skank. Cole, now Keisha Cole Keisha Cole skank, she saved for real because she ain't respectful this is didn't go this far. But where yeah. her husband at though? He waiting for them to, to see the skill <laughs> to get the church back. And I think them jokers, they want Calvary and they want uh what you call Trial. it? Trial. Trial. They want both of them. But why Jacob won't well I know Jacob do Got his own church, but he needed a sit-in pastor that Sunday. He needed to be at Calvary that Sunday when yeah. they doing them kind of announcements. That's when you need your family. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what I'm gonna say because people be watching us, man. <laughs> they know us for real, and they be putting stories together. They be in my inbox, <laughs> and they be like, "You be talking about such other you know, I show sure up just like the pastor that was on vacation for a long time. Yeah, he was in jail. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so. So, all right, back over there with Bishop and Lady May. Cause Maxine got to go. She coming back, but she got to go for now. Okay, so First Lady's giving her her, you know, her send off and told her, thank you so much for being there for me. And, you know, Maxine is telling her, you know what? What we about to do, we either going to get you your church or we going to send you over to another no, man mm -hmm. and do this, do that. And I said... Ain't it always these motherfuckers that you don't see when they man they self always trying to tell you what this is? Yeah. Say what? Where, where, where did this fruit fly come from? They everywhere. Yeah, it's been the season for this bull skit. But you yeah. got a good point there. Yeah, it's always and, and Lady May gonna go right along with her. Yeah, because she on TV. I, I don't care if you on TV. I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't telling nobody what to do with they got her husband. <laughs> but I thought the end goal was to get Calvary. Oh, it is, cause when she go, she go preach that guy so, to a conference in a way so, that's gonna manipulate all the women. So why in the world she give her option that if you don't get Calvary, you gonna get your own church? That shouldn't even been on the table. Because if it don't work, you can't blame, blame me. me. That's right. That's that's what I was getting at. <laughs> that's what people do. If anybody say they coming in to help you out. But they said if that don't work, we gonna do this. I ain't paying. They putting in a clause. It's a clause. <laughs> so while she putting in the clause, she getting in the guy door a car. So then Ayala, I didn't realize Ayala was still over at the house. Yep. So Ayala was telling um, you know, telling Lady May, you know, thank you. I you know spoke to Charity da da da. First lady said, listen, I don't appreciate. What she called it? Get bushwhacked. Yeah. In my own home. I called you to take care of my daughter. I didn't want you basically getting all in my business trying to tell me what I did wrong. And this, this is what she going to say. Gigi ain't had get to do with nothing. Nothing. She won't even dare. Nope. But some kind of way. Her name Gigi always come up in there. She said, I already got one daughter that blames me for everything. <laughs> yeah. I can't handle it with my baby girl too. I'm like, Gigi ain't never blame you for nothing. You blame her for everything. That's that manipulation. Yeah, man. I ain't never seen Gigi blame you for nothing. The only time Gigi came at you when she found out that you uh freaking slept with Lionel, 
And she was like, I'm tired of walking around here being perfect. I'm tired of being judged I'm for you. Done. I'm done. That's the only time that she done came at you sideways. Yeah, well, she gonna come at sideways when she right left Lana's her dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then Charity told her dad at the meeting, because he said, you know, baby girl, I'm always going to be there for you. She said, after this morning, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. I said, God, no. But that's true, though. When the parents break up sometimes, it just ain't never going to be the same yeah. between them and them goddamn kids. But I don't know. Maybe they might work it out. Maybe they're too far gone. I don't know, man. I but I'm like, but I'm like this, as far as uh, uh, Patterson. Ain't you supposed to be encouraging your friend to work out her marriage? Not if she probably want her for herself. Huh. Either she want her, him for herself or want Lady May for herself. And they can combine the churches together? Yeah. So she can start using her to get what she want like Bishop was using her to get what he want. And send her on over there to the brick and mortar yep. church and then, the and then once Patterson done with her. She's going to give her a farewell letter, letter too and say, we will read this on Sunday. They're going to send First Lady down there to the real church. Yeah. That, that Jacob and them trying to start. Yeah, because some people will pull you on in and, and use up your gift. And uh -huh. then once, once they use you up, they throw you away like a piece of floss. Yeah. But this is what all y'all said to Lady May. Lady May couldn't say nothing to her. She said, honey, when you are ready to deal with your own pain, call me. Yep, and, and walked I'll, off. And I'll come. And walked off like a boss. Yep, just I like said, you're doing the show. I said, do what you gotta do. Look, we need to call our y'all on a whole bunch. No, I'm not gonna say that. Yes, we do. <laughs> I need to call her on a whole lot of people. Y'all know what would be good? Nope. Because I y'all ain't gonna take my idea. I'm gonna cash in on this one. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna tell y'all. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Yeah.